Hey everybody, thank you so much for clicking on this video. So this is our second week of the Functional Friday series. So every Friday of this month, I will be breaking down a muscle group, talking to you about the function of it, some functional exercises that will help strengthen and build it. And then on Tuesdays, you are gonna get a full follow along workout video for that specific muscle group. So today our muscle is the traps or trapezius. Within the traps, there are actually three different muscles. So we're gonna break down each one of them individually. I'm gonna tell you the origin insertion, the function, and any functional exercises that you can do to build it. So let's hop on in. So just so we understand there are actually three different muscles that make up the traps or trapezius. We have the upper traps, the mid traps, and the low traps. The general function of all three of these muscles is to basically stabilize and move the scapula. But each one of these muscles of the traps does have a completely different muscle action, which I think is really interesting. I think it's really cool. There's like very little overlap between them. So I'm about to to nerd out. So we're gonna start with the upper traps. As far as the origin and insertion point, the origin is going to be up at your um, occipital bone. So if you go like up your spine and then on the back of your head, you feel this little bony nub. And then the upper traps are gonna run down vertically and insert into the clavicle. As far as the function, again, keeping it super simple, it does multiple things, but I'm gonna pick one for the sake of being simple and clear. Your upper traps elevate your shoulders. And then as far as some functional exercises you can do, I would recommend suitcase carries, really heavy deadlifts, shrugs are probably gonna be the most like isolating of the movements that I just mentioned as far as just specifically targeting the upper traps. But I am gonna talk about this later. I don't really think that most people need to be focusing on building the upper traps unless you're doing it for aesthetic purposes. More on that later. Okay, getting comfy. So now let's dive into the mid traps. So your mid traps are going to originate at your thoracic spine, T1 through T4, those vertebrae, and it's gonna run laterally or sideways across your back, and it's going to insert into the, um, the spine of the scapula. As far as the function, again, I'm gonna pick one thing to keep it really simple. Your mid traps retract your shoulder blades or bring your shoulders closer together. Shoulder blades, your scapula. And then if we wanna talk about some functional exercises, some of my favorites would be a farmer carry. Another one is a rear delt fly and a standing scaption. Now keep in mind with all of these exercises, we're gonna hit a lot of different muscle groups, but these exercises do require a good deal of scapular retraction and they are really functional. So that's why I like them. So your low traps. Your low traps also originate at your thoracic spine from T5 to T12. And then they are also going to um, run actually diagonally and then insert into the spine of the scapula, just like the mid and low traps. So once you have all of those fibers together, they kind of make like a trapezoid. Traps, we get it now? As far as the function of the low traps, one more time I'll say it, keeping it simple, picking one thing, they depress the shoulders. And then some great functional exercises you can do. I also like a farmer carry for this one. I really like a snatch. That's gonna be a great one for learning how to depress the shoulder and activating the low traps. And a bent over Y is actually another really, really great one again, for pulling those shoulders down. Now you are gonna find that with a lot of exercises targeting the mid traps, they're also gonna target the low traps and vice versa. And a lot of that is because we're working toward good posture. So we're working on depressing the shoulders and bringing the scapula together. Zoe, what are you doing? Come here. You wanna come in the video? I think she's trying to kill me. All right, so as I'm just like actively petting my cat, hoping that she doesn't decide to eat me. I wanna talk about a few other key points. So number one point about your, oh my God. Do you wanna come sit with me? <laughs> I feel like I should move. Do you wanna come sit? Come here. All right, so apparently this is what's happening now. So, as me and Zoe are sitting here just bonding, hoping she doesn't decide to eat me, let's talk about a few things regarding the traps. So the traps are actually the most superficial muscle of your back. When I say that, I mean that if you like peeled away your skin, the first things that you would see would be your traps. So I just wanna make that clear because it's gonna kind of explain why a lot of us are so trap dominant, specifically upper traps. A lot of people will claim that they are upper trap dominant and I definitely agree. That means that 
your traps are taking on the muscle action of other muscles, specifically things like your lats or your shoulders or your rhomboids or your mid and low traps maybe, your upper traps are taking over for them. I can't, I can't, I can't with this. So guys, a big reason why we, <laughs> So big reason why we're upper trap dominant. Um, it can be blamed on a number of things, but part of this is because it's such a superficial muscle. So it's when you're trying to do something, it's the first thing that you're going to hit. So a lot of times, especially your upper traps are going to become really, really hyper dominant. I'm scared. Are you done? Are you done? If I just casually, okay. She heard Kevin coming and she left. Okay, I think I, covered exactly what I wanted to say, but this is like a mishmash now because my cat fucked me up. Yeah, and then guys, the other reason, um, not to like make sitting the devil again, but it kind of is, we're sitting so much, and if you just think about like where your upper traps insert into, right? Basically at your head. So if you are always in this position, your upper traps are always being used. We're also always stressed, so we're always right here. Again, what do your upper traps do? So they're constantly being used. They're constantly under tension or uh, you know inflection. And a lot of times that's why they get so dominant. So this is why I don't really recommend to people to be doing things like shrugs, unless they're going for like the bodybuilder look. Otherwise, you really wanna strengthen more so the mid and low traps because most people have pretty strong upper traps already. And I already did mention it in here, but obviously we're gonna hit more than just the up upper, mid, and low traps as we're doing these exercises that I gave examples of. So other, um, you know, other muscles that you might hit would be the lats, you'll hit the rhomboids. poking you in the balls. <laughs> this video is taking a weird turn. <laughs> so what I'm trying to say is the more muscles and the more joints moving together, the better. So random final fact of the video before we just like wrap it up. Something that I think is super interesting in the way that I like to think of muscles. Let's say like we're talking about the back, right? So if we're talking about muscles of the back, we can think superficial, intermediate, and intrinsic or deep. So what do I mean by that? I mean, superficial muscles are, it's gonna be the traps. We talked about it's the most superficial muscle. But when we're talking about superficial muscles of the back, we're talking about muscles that move the shoulder, all right? And when we're talking about intermediate, we're talking about muscles that move the ribs. And when we're talking about deep or intrinsic, we're talking about muscles that move the spine. So that's a really, I don't know, I just find it interesting. Um, and you can kind of apply that to actually a lot of different parts of the body. I know in, this video right up here, uh, I break down like the three layers of the core. If you want to learn about that, you can watch it in the video. My cat is losing her shit. It's time to wrap this up. Zowie! Hey, bitch! What up? All right, we're gonna wrap this up because the household is crazy today. Fun fact, I might be moving in like three weeks and we're gonna have more space than this. So fingers crossed, we find out today. That was your trapezius functional Friday. Definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss the workout on Tuesday. It's not gonna be a trap workout specifically. It's going to be a pull day workout. So it's going to be the back pretty much and I'm very excited for it. Any questions, leave them in the comments below. Let me know if you have a crazy animal at home. I would love to know that because mine is losing her mind. Let's see if we can get her here one more time. Zoe! Yes! Yes! Gotcha, bitch! Bye.